and he was also a good writer himself. That's that's one of the things we've discovered since he's he's died that uh, the yes. book about his diary and the, and the yes. book about his letters that right. he all wrote himself, mm -hmm. handwritten. He was he was a, quite a good writer. Now you were talking about him not getting involved in the in the micromanaging. There was an interesting point you made in your book about traveling with Dole. <coughs> And that that was your real rap on Dole, that here you spent this time with him. And then during this entire, I don't remember whether it was a flight or a bus or whatever. a couple of days, yeah. He was not interested in any policy issues. It's where's the podium going to be? What, where do I stand? Where do I walk? He was a micro, he was a micro manager. And, and, that, uh, and uh, you know, I, I thought it was bad for a candidate, more is for a president. But, yeah. uh, uh, but uh, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of micromanagers. Jimmy Carter was a micromanager. Um, Lyndon Johnson, a very powerful man, he was a micromanager. Nixon was a micromanager. Right. Uh, anybody who thinks that they can run the government of the United States right. is a fool. It's a, it's a, it's it's right. too, it's a, it's massive. And, and uh, better to go and, in with ideas. And Reagan never never cared about that stuff. Right. Well, do you think what do you think that the fault lies in some part in with what the vetting process to even make it into the arena? That we're, that what we're, vetting process? The, the, well, the, 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 what they're going to, the scrutiny, what they're going to no have scrutiny. to go, there's well, there scrutiny. is scrutiny, there's people like you. It's not, it's, then, not a, it's not a scrutiny, I mean. Do you, you think know, the right people run for office? No, I mean, it's, a, okay. I mean, I, I mean in, in a sense, they do, because only fools would run for office. <laughs> and, and, and well, and we the get fools a, we might get, all be micromanagers. We get a lot of fools running. But you know, it really uh, an ordinary person uh, uh, wouldn't want to do that with his life. Yeah. And uh, so, the, uh, uh, people who run for office are generally people who want to uh, push other people around. They want to direct things. They they have a uh, megalomania, power complex. But Reagan was Reagan. But, but Reagan wasn't. Like he was an exception. He was he was really, really an exception. But don't forget, he had a, a long and uh, and uh, successful life before he ever thought of running for office. Yeah. He was he was well into his fifties. He had. He had been successful. He'd had a career, and um, uh, I think a guy whose 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 career started as a broadcaster for the Chicago Cubs. You know, he can't be all bad. Yeah. Well, you started as a you started as a sports, sports writer, and then a thwarted editor, and then you say that was that was that was yeah. a change. But you have to read the book to find okay. out about all that, because um, it's in very interesting. And and uh, but um, um, who was the best Democratic president? Uh. Well, I don't think uh, I, I don't. I didn't like any you of them. You can't bring yourself. No, to, to I like. <laughs> I, I like it personally. I like. I love Jack Kennedy. I knew him. I was very young. And I was. He was such a charismatic uh, yeah. person, and he was very nice to me when he was a senator. You and I was he brought a, culture a young to reporter, and, and but he was. You know, he was a. Uh, he was. He really had very bad personal morals, and he was. Uh, uh, he was a fairly weak president, and he. he Maybe Unfortunately, he died before he before he before could he do much there. of anything, um, but uh, but at least I liked him. I uh, I didn't like Johnson, and I, I certainly didn't like. But, Jimmy but, but, but you know about about Kennedy, you thought that he uh, you thought he was the most attractive political candidate you've ever seen. Ever seen. And if and if there was a tutorial to be taught to the crop out there now of what you saw in him, what would that tutorial be? Uh, well. In football, you brought up football before. You, they yeah, always yeah. say you can't coach speed. You know, <laughs> it, it, well, you can't coach charisma either. Yeah, well, you know? and, and, uh, it was and that simple. One of one of the interesting things that, that uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, in in, in uh, New, New, New Hampshire, Senator Clinton's uh, manager is a state senator named Lou D'Alessandro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, he's a he's a nice old guy. He'd been around a long time, and he he gave a quote to the Manchester Union leader, uh, to the effect that uh, uh, we were going to really work on improving her likability. We only had three days. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, I don't know if you could ever make Hillary likable, but you're not going to do it in three days. But and, and, but uh, you've already said that. It's what, not what you do is you make her. You make you make people feel sorry for her, which is a long way from being likable. And and then and then her husband does. Uh, she comes in with a with a weeping bit, and her husband comes in with attacking uh, the enemy. Yeah, but you can only that, do that, that once. Well, they'll do it again. Really? And they only have to. They only have to win one New Hampshire primary. Only, well, but you can't. You probably can't do it in every primary. Uh, you talk about the. You know, you you claim uh, that civility in politics ended with LBJ. What 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 did LBJ do? How well, did that happen? I I say I say that civility uh, really ended with the. With the uh, with the Vietnam War and the 
and the, the race, uh, racial wars that mm -hmm. went on. Uh, I can't blame it all on, on, on LBJ. Um, but uh, it was, when I came here 50 years ago, 1957, mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a relatively uh, civil uh, discourse going on, but we've had a lot of uh, uncivil uh, uh, episodes in the country just before the Civil War, right. uh, uh, in the Jackson era, Andrew Jackson, not Jesse Jackson. Right, right, uh, right, uh, right, right. And uh, uh, so it, uh, we've had other times when <laughs> Americans were uncivil. The, the, the great genius of America is that uh, uh, most Americans always, and, and even to this day, mm -hmm. I think, I really don't believe that their fate depends on the government. Yeah. They think uh, they think that, 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 that they have their own uh, uh, fortune in their own hands, their own fate in their own hands, and, and that's uh, that's different than a lot of countries, and that's been one of the secrets of our success, I believe. Is one of your sources Michael Bloomberg? Michael Bloomberg? No, <laughs> no it isn't. Well, I mean, Is do you talk of, to him? Uh, uh, no, I don't. I, I mean, I... I, I when I meet him, I chat with him. Right, I, but I, I just wondered if no, maybe you've talked not, to him in the last no, month. I ha, no, I haven't. I haven't. If he's in your, if he's in your, you know, circle. No. Uh, what what scenario, if any, would prompt him to run? Do you think, or would make it worthwhile for him to run? Well, I can't see how he could possibly be elected. Uh, but uh, I think the theory behind him is that you get two very contentious, unlikable candidates. I mean, the the <laughs> the, uh, we've the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the model would be uh, two New Yorkers, Hillary Clinton and Rudy Giuliani running against each other. You don't think McCain fits into that scenario? No, he's also? a likable person. He really is likable. Well, you don't like mad. him, obviously. Well, no, but, it's not that. He, it's just that we've seen him flare up. Well, he doesn't. He, he, he has a quality. Uh, I mean, the, the, the problem, the old question, would you like to have a beer with him? Yeah. Whether you agree with him or not. Uh, uh, McCain Everybody said stuff. you'd like to have a beer with Bill Clinton. Yeah. Nobody wants to have a beer with Hillary. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, would you like to would you like to have you a beer with John her. with with uh, with uh, with John McCain? Yeah, with uh, Rudy Giuliani. No. So that's <laughs> that, that's that's a chess. But anyway, the the Giuliani Clinton model Scenario, is, right. uh, is is a. I think that's what Bloomberg has has in mind. But the I don't I just don't think that the. Uh, that the uh, uh, country is really ready for uh, uh, a, a Jewish Jewish billionaire from from New York who uh, uh, lives with a woman who's not his wife. I just I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but you think that do you think the country is ready for uh, an African American or a woman? Uh, I think so. Yes, I think I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they're ready for uh, Hillary or not. Well, I don't know if they're ready for for Obama. But I think in in theory they are. I think. Uh, uh, I think that in uh, I think that, that the problems with Obama maybe there are some some prejudicial problems but I don't think that that uh, that uh, he he has the problems that Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton would they have. they seem almost of another era yeah. anyway does he impress you as having the skills to be president Obama well I think. Uh, I think he'd be a pretty good president. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I disagree with him on almost well, everything. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking but, about uh, the maturity. Uh, but uh, I th I, yes, I think so. I think he is. Uh, I think he's reasonable. I think when he gets behind closed doors, he uh, he, uh, <clears throat> he he is ready to make uh, make deals. As, 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 have you as spent Hillary. Have you spent time with him? Not not a great deal. No, but he uh, he has uh, he is a great orator. He is the best uh, the best orator I have seen. Uh, really. Uh, uh, Inspirational speaker mm -hmm. I have seen in maybe ever. Yeah, uh, he is. Uh, he is. He is fabulous, and that's that's why you had this rock star environment uh, at right. some of the rallies in New Hampshire. So many people want to compare him to Kennedys. Which Kennedy? If you had to compare him to a Kennedy, would it be Bobby or Jack? Well, I think it would be Jack. Jack was a was a uh, was a charismatic orator. Mm -hmm. Bo Bobby had great charismatic appeal, but he wasn't a very good speaker as such. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would say more uh, 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 Jack Kennedy, but th but they're really not uh, 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 terribly similar. Right. Uh, 